Hi everyone, um, this is Megan Hagedorn from the Marks Group Live. Excited to be here today teaching, um, editing, and creating a blueprint in Zoho CRM. After this training is over, please feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com for any questions on this subject. And be sure to rate this class as well. It's going to help out your fellow Zoho users and help us improve the video library. So here are some of the main points we'll be discussing today. So first, and I apologize for any squawking you hear in the background. Um, so first we're going to talk about uh, really how to get to the managing blueprint section, which is through the settings. But then we're going to talk about how to edit um, an existing blueprint. From there, you can edit the sequence, actions, um, create new actions, r remove existing ones um, for existing blueprints. So we'll talk about all that. Then we are going to create a new blueprint, and with that you choose the module, the layout, and the primary field, um, and I'll explain what that is, uh, and that's for new blueprints. And then finally, you can save blueprints as a draft before publishing, so if you're kind of working on something and it's not quite ready to be published yet, um, there is an option for that. So let's get to it. We've got our Zoho home screen here. I'm going to go ahead and go to settings or setup. Then we're going to go under automation to the blueprint section. And then you can see we've got all of these different blueprints here. Um, just a quick overview of this screen. So we see all of the modules um, right here. Normally this could be filtered already, so if you know you have a bunch of blueprints um, but you're only seeing two, for example, just be aware of this column. It might be filtering the module um, and preventing all of the blueprints from being shown. So you can always change this to all modules and it will show all of your blueprints. This little um, orange asterisk denotes the draft copy of the published blueprint, so we talked about that a little bit in our takeaways. Um, and I'll show you how to save a blueprint in progress as a draft. We see the status over on the right. We see only one is activated right now. Um, the rest are deactivated. We see the layout um, that a blueprint is applying to and then the primary field for that blueprint. So first we're going to talk about editing an existing blueprint. So open up any old, any old blueprint we're opening up deal process and we see we've got a little blueprint here. Um, just a couple other things about blueprint. This blue um, step or state or transition rather um, indicates that this is a common transition and this this transition will appear after if you hover over it you'll see all of these green arrows. This transition will appear after for example the start state, um, after qualification, and needs analysis. Same with win the deal, that applies for the same. We also have these green transitions here. These are not common um, and only apply to this one, um, this one, well really transition here. So we can, it's a little finicky, but if you hover over this little node and get that blue button to appear and if it highlights the see how it highlights the, the that black arrow and turns it into blue if we grab this we can actually rearrange this and um, not that you would want to do this but just to show you that, that you can you can move that over so the transitions um, can be moved to different states if we move it back just drag and drop it over the state that you're trying to get to. It's like I said, it's a little finicky, so you might want to try to hit a node like that. Um, so if it's not working, give it a couple goes. It's, it's like I said, the navigation here is a little tricky. We can also edit actions. So we have during and after. These are all possibilities that can be changed. Um, we can say please confirm amount. Well, you know what? I need to, to move this down or change this, um, 
change his message in some way. It's entirely possible to do that. We can also add additional transitions if we just click anywhere outside of these states and transitions. You'll see available states. You can actually drag um, drag this onto the blueprint there and then we can rearrange this like so. And then we can create a new transition by selecting one of these nodes that pops up in blue and dragging it over to a different state. And then we click the plus button and we can create a new transition. And a transition again is essentially the, the quote unquote button that appears on the record um, that users can select to, to transition to the next stage or the next state. So we can rename a transition. Um, I'll just say identify. Sorry, I've got a, a little baby next to me, and that's the, the squawking you're hearing. Um, so that's how we create a new transition. We can always remove a transition as well. By right clicking and then selecting delete transition. I'll say, are you sure? And then we can say delete. And there we go, same thing. We can delete a state by selecting delete. Now, if you delete a state and there are transitions related to it like this, needs analysis is related to this transition or to this state, um, we, and you wanna keep that transition, we should move that first. So we'll move it back and then we can delete this state um, without deleting any transitions. So to create a new, oh, before I get to that, actually, if we want to save this as a draft, it's easy to do that just by clicking Save as Draft right here. Instead of Republish, we can save this as a draft. And then we'll see that little orange asterisk next to the blueprint name. To create a new blueprint, we can select this blue button here. We give it a name. Um, module do we want to make this under? We can say um, new contact process and we'll say it's under the contact module. Oh, I think I picked the one. Oh, there it is. Okay. Then we have to choose the layout that this should apply to. Um, you don't have to do that. If there, if there is only one layout, you're not going to have any options here, so that's why we have that. Um, but if you have more than one option or if you have more than one layout for a module, you'll you will have options in this section. And then we need to choose the primary field. In this case, I think I picked a bad example. We okay. Hold up that. We're gonna say new lead process because I know I know that will have what we need. So again we've got choose layout. In this case we've got our standard layout. We can select that. We can choose our primary field here. This is going to be a um, basically the, the, the field that it pulls those state names from. So we're going to say lead status. And you can also define criteria for which, for, um, which records are associated with this blueprint if you want. And if you want all records to be eligible for this blueprint, right? like it says here, you can just leave this blank. So we'll click next. And then we need to drag and drop these states. So we selected the lead status field as the primary field here. Therefore, all of the options for the lead status field appear as available states. So we can simply just drag and drop these in here. You can drag and drop multiple states before you connect them with transitions. say pre-qualified question mark when when they select that button the state will change um, and that primary lead status field will change to pre-qualified and we can just grab that node drag and drop it 
click the bless button and add a transition. Contacted. I'm just making this super simple for the purposes of this, um, but you can get pretty complex with these blueprints. We can also, um, so you can make notes mandatory for this transition. We can make attachments mandatory. Um, you can add fields that would become mandatory before it's possible to progress to the next state. Um, we can add a message. Please refer to lead contact. We can associate other items here, so tasks, events, or calls, or we can create a checklist. After the transition, we can trigger things. So we can trigger email notifications, create tasks, um, prompt field updates, um, other do other custom actions, add tags to a, to a record, all within this, with this blueprint. And then again, we can save as draft. We need to get rid of these unlinked states. So we'll just right click and click delete. And then we'll say, you know what, I'm not quite done with this. We're just going to save this as a draft for now. And there we go. We can also um, check the last modified date. And this is that new lead process. This is the, the blueprint we were just look, working on. All right. So to review, um, we talked about how to create a new blueprint and what you need to do for that. So you need to choose the module, the layout, and the primary field um, where it will pull the blueprint will pull states from. Blueprints can be saved as drafts prior to publishing. And then we talked about ways you can edit existing blueprints. You can edit the sequence, change any actions, um, fields or messages that are prompted during a transition, um, remove or add new states and transitions. So all of these things are possible. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this class today. Please check out our video library for other tips and training videos just like this one. If you have any suggestions for other classes or how to adjust this class topic, please email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. You can also email us for questions about this video or any other questions you might have about Zoho at support at marksgrouplive.com. Thanks so much.